Over at Marvel Comics, I've been having an absolute blast with the publisher's latest run on the old webhead with the Amazing Spider-Man series. And a lot of fans have had a lot of reservations toward this series because Spider-Man is no longer with the one-time love of his life, Mary Jane. However, Spider-Man just started a new relationship with Felicia Hardy, aka the Black Cat, and so far in this series, it's been going off to a really fantastic start. And over in the latest chapter of the tale, where the series has taken a two-part kind of break after the events of the landmark dark web crossover, Peter and Felicia are going on a weekend getaway my name is Arico Braddock, and today let's go ahead and dive into The Amazing Spider-Man number 20 to see how Peter and Felicia's getaway is going. But before we dive deeper into the video, I want to go ahead and encourage you to consider subscribing to the channel and hitting that like button if you enjoy our content. And I want to introduce the creative team over on this new issue of The Amazing Spider-Man. This one is written by Joe Kelly, um, featuring guest art over from Terry Donson and inks from Rachel Donson with letters over from VC's Joe Caramagna. And we have a cover illustrated by John Romita Jr., Scott Hanna, and Marcio Menis. Now, I want to go ahead and share the solicitation text behind this latest issue of The Amazing Spider-Man to get you caught up to speed on some of the events happening in Peter and Felicia's life. Someone tried to kill Spidey and Black Cat. You thought this would be easy for Peter? Nope. The special two-parter from superstar guests Joe Kelly and Terry Donson uh, concludes here. And next up, I want to go ahead and show off the kind of really gorgeous cover over for The Amazing Spider-Man number 20 from John Romita Jr. Here's a look at the issue's cover, and I really enjoy how kind of Peter and Felicia are fighting off what looks to be, you know, kind of the midst of a snowstorm, uh, solidifying that, you know, some of their relationship is going through a little bit of a rocky tenure, which I really appreciate. And now I want to introduce uh, some of the artwork over from guest artist uh, Terry Dodson. Uh, now, I really enjoy when the Dodsons kind of work together in the Amazing Spider-Man series with Terry and Rachel, uh, specifically because the way that sort of Spider-Man uh, moves when uh, Terry is lending kind of the pencils to an issue of the series is just so graceful and stoic. Uh, plus, the Black Cat character is also striking some great poses um, across the issue. And I just think that the way the Dodsons kind of approach the Spider-Man character over the years is just so magical. There's such a great sense of fluid movement over on the character. I love how kind of not, um, you know, the, the anatomy of the figures on this series are not quite super detailed in every single scene. And I think this is because not every scene calls for it. Um, you know, we're looking at this really interesting moment over with the White Rabbit and Black Cat, where I think the Dodsons are mostly concerned with making sure that the story is coherent and fluid throughout the issue. That being said, there was a problem later on in the series where some of the shapes and forms began to be more like shapeless, and some of the details kind of lingering in the background didn't quite come together the way that I hoped. Um, you know, this isn't too much of an issue throughout the series, as I think the majority of this chapter is fairly legible. And also, there's just a great sense of fun seeing Terry and Rachel Dodson's art across this series. This art kind of continues the getaway that Peter and Felicia are having. And I have to say, despite some excellent writing, some really great jokes over from Joe Kelly, I don't quite think that all the plot points in this issue land the way that they should. And I do. I, I think that a large part of this is due to the fact that I think Joe Kelly kind of had to shoehorn in a Spider-Man plot where this issue should have been more concerned with fleshing out the characterization between Peter and Felicia. Um, a lot of people are saying that this is kind of a filler arc for the amazing Spider-Man, but you sometimes need a filler arc in order to imbue a lot of characterization that is sort of essential for the Spider-Man character. You know, taking a few moments to sort of flesh out the relationship between Peter and Felicia is a wonderful thing to do in this story. But I just wish that we had either no kind of subplot over with the White Rabbit and some of these Silicon Six characters that have 
are, are, are sort of trying to critique some aspects of Silicon Valley. But I think Joe Kelly is having a hard time finding an interesting way to like add satire uh, in order to make that, you know, interesting and really kind of stand out amidst other parts of the series. Still, there is something to be said about this tone throughout the issue, kind of even this moment over with Black Cat, where her direct dialogue is, why kill the golden goose while it, when it's still laying eggs? Um, Black Cat has so many great lines of dialogue like, like that, that even though I'm not a huge fan of the plot in this issue, I can still really appreciate the scripting over from Joe Kelly. Joe Kelly has written so many great Spider-Man stories that it's hard to imagine reading an issue where it doesn't have, you know, one line that makes me kind of, you know, laugh or really appreciate how Kelly is just sort of different from the rest of the pack as a writer. And despite the fact that I didn't enjoy the core story, I do need to take a moment here and talk about the last couple pages in the issue because there is a very emotionally charged scene that really brought me back to sort of the heyday of what, um, you know, Jerry Conway and Stan Lee were doing over with this character, you know, decades and decades ago in the past. There is really a, a quite charged emotional sequence that I think is going to hopefully sell readers on the relationship between uh, Felicia and Peter. I always like these sort of really tense, sobering moments in The Amazing Spider-Man where Peter makes a really kind of decisive decision that can be marked within the trenches of continuity. And I feel that the sort of emotionally charged final sequence in this should absolutely be counted among those moments where Spider-Man is going through just endless emotional turmoil and is finally able to kind of craft a moment of clarity amidst, you know, so many kind of turbulent changes and motions in his life, which is just great to see over in this individual comic book. So those are some of my thoughts over on The Amazing Spider-Man number 20. I think this isn't a perfect issue of The Amazing Spider-Man, but there's still so many fantastic sequences here. The artwork over from the Dodsons renders an incredibly expressive Spider-Man that's really great to see interpreted throughout this issue. Plus, I think the way that Joe Kelly really kind of is able to deconstruct Peter and Felicia's relationship and find something interesting to say about it is almost worth the price of the issue alone. If you are a big Spider-Man fan, the final two pages make this issue absolutely unmissable. And I just want to know from you at this point, what were your thoughts over on this two-parter in The Amazing Spider-Man? While I don't think this was a sort of perfect arc for Joe Kelly, I think that there were so many sort of great moments, great lines of dialogue, and just sort of like individual little kind of reflections of the new status quo for Peter and Mary Jane, as well as Peter and Black Cat, that I really enjoyed uh, this arc at the end of the day, and I'm very excited to see where Zeb Wells is going to take the Amazing Spider-Man in future issues. So I want to know from you, what were your thoughts on this series, and are you going to be picking up future issues of the Amazing Spider-Man? Thank you guys so much for checking out the video, and we'll be back really soon for more excellent comic book content. Thanks so much, and we'll see you soon. Bye.